सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई पॉडकास्ट आई कॉल दिस द हाफ टाइम पॉडकास्ट वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग फुटबॉल टॉक फ्रॉम ओवर द वर्ल्ड सो येस्टडे इन द यूरो क्वालिफायर्स जर्मनी वेंट अगेंस्ट एस्टोनिया इमेजिन द स्कोर इट वॉज एट नील रॉय स्कोर ट्वाइस नैबरी स्कोर ट्वाइस गुरेस्का स्कोर वंस गुंडयान स्कोर विथ अ पेनल्टी टीमो वर्नर स्कोर वंस एंड ली रॉय सैने डिन फेल टू मेक इट एटी एथ मिनट ही ऑल्सो स्कोर टू मेक इट एट नील बट दिस कैंट बी सेट द जर्मनी हैज़ प्लेड वेल वाई यू आस्क इज बिकॉज दे प्लेड विद सच लो लेवल टीम्स लाइक बेलारस एंड एस्टोनिया uh next game they have netherlands and then after that they have northern ireland then they have a friendly with argentina and another estonia belarus and northern ireland so in that group yeah uh they are second in their group and first is northern ireland which i don't understand how northern ireland came up first how is that even possible northern ireland didn't beat let me see here the euro qualifiers so northern ireland did they only go against belarus and estonia yeah they've only gone against them they've not gone against germany or netherlands that's why they have 12 points how oh my god okay that is not good okay All right, all right. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. So, let me go through the groups. Group A is England, Czech Republic, Kosovo, Bulgaria, Montenegro. England definitely got the easiest group out of all of them. Six points, two matches played, all of them won. Group B is Ukraine, Luxembourg, Serbia, Portugal, and Lithuania. Somehow, Portugal has only two points because they've drawn both their games, so they're fourth in their group. Group C is Northern Ireland, Germany, Netherlands, Belarus and Estonia. Group D is Ireland, Denmark, Switzerland, Georgia and Gibraltar. Group E is Hungary, Slovakia, Croatia, Wales, Azerbaijan. So this is all position wise. Group F is Spain, Romania, Sweden, Norway, Malta and the Faroe Islands. Group G is Poland, Israel, Austria, Slovenia, North Macedo- Macedonia. Latvia group H is France Turkey Ireland Albania Moldova and Andorra group I is Belgium Russia Kazakhstan Scotland Cyprus and San Marino group J is Italy Finland Armenia Greece Bosnia and Herzegovina and Liechtenstein so currently as of now it looks like England and Czech Republic are going Ukraine and Luxembourg are going by going i mean to the euros northern ireland and germany are going to the euros ireland and denmark are going to the euros hungary and slovakia are going to the euros spain and romania are going to the euros poland and israel are going to the euros france and turkey are going to the euros belgium russia are going italy and finland are going as of now it can change at any moment pretty sure northern ireland is not going to the euros so currently the euro qualifiers what's going on with that so turkey beat france 2 nil somehow uh that's that news um spain beat sweden 3 nil crap match nothing much happened but still turkey beat france 2 nil and france had zero shots on target even though they were better in every other stat be it possession be it passes be it pass accuracy everything was them but they had zero shots on target even though they had a starting lineup of giroud matuidi griezmann mbappe pogba sissoko dinier umtiti varan pavard and lori they had all those players and they still didn't score for shit and oh more news nations league portugal beat netherlands 1-0 
uh, once again Ronaldo gets a trophy without doing anything in the final but you can't really say that he was actually really good in the final he was amazing Gonzalo Guedes got a goal in the 60th minute the legend he is Ronaldo was playing striker that's why he was playing striker even though he played left wing against Switzerland and scored three goals that was that was very amazing uh but Netherlands team, they, they put up a fight, especially Van Dijk. No one got through Van Dijk once again. Ronaldo didn't get through Van Dijk. Um, Van Dijk is basically unbeatable at this point. But uh, I think he's a bit overhyped. Even though Netherlands manager was Ronald Koeman. My God. Um, yeah, this is sick. Uh, he, he is the Dutch manager. He was a Barca manager and did pretty well for them too. Um, yeah, uh, Belgium. Belgium is doing bits. Belgium won three 0 against Scotland, uh, which is nice because Hazard clearly doesn't want to go through such low level teams. He'll understand what high level teams are in the La Liga. Talking about the La Liga, they're getting all the transfers at the moment. Lukaku scored twice with De Bruyne scoring in 90 plus 2, making it worse for Scotland. Uh, that is the last game of the season for Belgium and the rest. So, we have to wait until next season for the opening day fixtures. So, welcome back to the transfer topic of sides. So, transfer... Let's see the fixtures, actually. Let's see the opening day fixtures of the Premier League. I want to see the opening day fixtures. I haven't checked it out yet. Mm, let's just see here. This is like a small podcast when I'm talking to myself. But also trying to entertain. The fixtures are leaked. They didn't even come out properly. They, they've leaked it. So... Let's see here. Uh, as for what I can see is Tottenham vs Norwich, Bournemouth vs Sheffield, Crystal vs Crystal Palace vs Arsenal, Everton vs Newcastle, Southampton vs Chelsea, Watford vs West Ham, Burnley vs Liverpool, Aston Villa vs Le- Leicester City, Man United vs Brighton, and I can't see the other one. I think Manchester City vs. I can't see Wolves. I think that's Wolves. Man City's got a good opening day fixture. But all I want to say is Chelsea, it's all kind of easy, all of these ones. Not great opening day fixtures, not the best. Uh, I've seen better. I can say I've seen better. Transfers. Let's go to the transfer side of things. Let's go... All right, guys. Uh, let's go to mirror.co.uk. You can go there for your transfer news live. I'm not sponsored by them. Wow. So, Aaron Van Bissaka is very, very, very important in the transfer window because everyone's trying to get him. Uh, yeah. So. Yao Felix is interested in a move to Atletico Madrid. The Benfica Benfica Wiskit has appeared close to a move to Manchester City this summer. I don't know. He he can do his own decisions. He's young. He's like 19. Yao Felix is a very good young talent. Uh, I feel that he can go a long way in whatever he's doing. I think he's 19, isn't he? It doesn't say. Yeah, he's 19. So, yeah, he, he, he can do anything he wants, basically. If he wants to go to Atletico, he can go to Atletico. Uh, I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, but he's doing well for Benfica, and they won the league. So, I think that he has a very good chance of staying there or leaving. Uh, more Griezmann. Antoine Griezmann is joining PSG. Pretty sure about that, because they're close to finish the deal um, he's not going to America I'm pretty sure he's going to PSG um, yeah is that even hmm all right so forced to join I hear a lot of good stuff 
he might join PSG. It's most probably PSG now. Uh, nothing else. Um, I don't know. I feel that Antoine Griezmann's situation is a bit dire, considering that he wants to play for very big teams. Uh, he he can play for them big teams. I'm pretty sure. He any team will pick him at this point because he he has proved his worth to people. He has proved his worth. I don't feel like he's any uh, better than Ronaldo. I think he's right to consider himself with those types because he has the potential to do that. He's still young, that too. He's not like Mbappe young, but he has built his career throughout. And I think the next Ballon d'Or winner is definitely not Ronaldo. They wouldn't pick him because he just now started Juventus. People are saying Virgil van Dijk. Messi, I don't think so. He won't win anything because he's only won the La Liga. Uh, it's either gonna be Van Dijk or Mbappe. But Mbappe also hasn't won anything. So, oh wow. Okay. Mbappe has put out a tweet. So. Transfer news, Kylian Mbappe's representatives have sent a list of demands to PSG's hierarchy. They include, he must be guaranteed to play up front rather than out wide. He must take all penalties when he's playing. He must own a far greater percentage of his image rights if he remains at the club. And Kylian Mbappe <laughs> replies, sorry, you forgot something. Kylian Mbappe wants to play goalkeeper. Fake news. All right. So he shut down those rumors. But I think Van Dijk has a very good chance of Ballon d'Or. To think that... Van Dijk two years ago or three years ago played at Southampton and is now a Champions League winner, a future Ballon d'Or winner. He is by far one of the greatest centre backs already in the greatest centre back in the world because it's crazy how he's evolved into this beast known as Virgil Van Dijk. He used to play for uh, Groningen in 2011-13, he played two years there. Celtic, he played two years there. Southampton, he played three years there. 2018, and then 2018, he joined Liverpool. And he's turned into this this mad defender. That is Virgil van Dijk. I mean, he could be a Ballon d'Or winner. You never know. And he was mad at the match. I mean, other news reports, Cristiano Ronaldo fails to dribble past Virgil van Dijk. Alright, fine, he failed to dribble past Virgil van Dijk. But what's even the point? He doesn't dribble, Ronaldo doesn't dribble, Messi dribbles. You can't say that Ronaldo didn't dribble past Virgil van Dijk. He's just an unstoppable force compared to this brick wall that's in the defence line. It's hard to dribble past him. Why Why didn't no one say that, oh, Messi didn't dribble past Van Dijk against uh, Liverpool? No one says that. That's just Ronaldo haters, man. Just pure-breaded Ronaldo haters. Well, that's it for Halftime Podcast. I'll see you later. My name is Alok Gopinath and goodbye.